Uh, now, uh, you know, I wanted to ask you one thing was, uh, we've spoken about changes that have happened since 2014. There is an overt communalization. We saw possibly the most communal campaign by the Prime Minister mm -hmm. in the run-up to 2024. Uh, Muslim youth today, you know, there can be a lot of sort of negativity, a sense of hopelessness, especially when you have a bombardment of news. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter that today in your neighborhood there is something happening. Some lynching in Assam happens. That is, a girl in UP is impacted by a girl in MP. There is a house that is bulldozed in MP. So, in Karnataka, there is a Muslim girl in Karnataka. That is, a girl is impacted by a girl in Karnataka. So, a rush of negative news around the minority community, hmm. statements. Hmm. It can create a sense of despondency. Hmm. It can create a sense of, okay, I just want to shut this and I don't even bother with politics or any of this. Hmm. काफी लोग बोलते भी हैं जब हम ट्रैवल करते हैं इलेक्शन में कि हम इस चक्रों में पढ़ते ही नहीं हैं। What will your message be to you know young Muslims who are also looking for representation idols in politics, especially to get away from a sense of negativity? I think what I'd like to say does not apply to only Muslims, but in general to everybody, all the young people in the country that Getting away from it is not the solution. Mm. I don't like the term apolitical. I resent it uh, from the very core of my heart. <laughs> so I don't think being apolitical solves any problem. You are just uh, either you are very privileged or you don't care about the consequences of your action. And only then can you be apolitical because everything is politics, all the policies that are made for you. So I think if if there is anything, uh, like for example me, I didn't want to enter politics. But when you're burdened with a lot of issues and you know, you're just cornered, then I think that is the time that you have to very actively be aware of your surroundings and take part. And I'm not saying participatory part, but at least make use of all the rights that you have currently because mm. you never know they may be taken away from you at mm. any minute so uh, i think uh, reading up being aware and educating yourself about your rights and what you can do on your level i think that's very important so uh, dishearten nahi hona hai i mean there is always light at the end of tunnel and uh, everybody lives on hope and i think uh, in Islam, it's also shirk to not uh, to lose hope. So mm. I think नहीं छोड़नी चाहिए hope, उम्मीद नहीं छोड़नी चाहिए. We our country has seen bad times. I mean, we were all uh, not us, but our forefathers they saw the British Raj and all of that and partition, partition, which is one of the most and we came out of it. Uh, so I think this is also one of those times and we will come out of it if we all take part in it and if we all do our bit. Mm -hmm.